This morning, millions of holiday travelers are settling into their destinations after taking to the air, the roads, and the railways. At least we hope they've made it safely. This is a live look at Dallas Love Field Airport this morning. AAA predicts about 4.5 million people will fly over the holiday weekend, and many travelers are finding themselves amongst long lines at the airports. Xavier Walton is live in a different part of the country outside of Miami International Airport with a look at what to expect. Good morning, Xavier. Mitch, good morning and welcome to Miami. And this is what it's like at Miami International Airport. This is outside. Earlier today, when we were inside, I actually witnessed a, a boyfriend surprise his girlfriend. She was in tears. Let's get to some of the action inside of the airport. And, and this is what it looks like here in Miami International Airport. It seems like a normal day. Nope, not normal day. This is Thanksgiving. This is what it looks like. And despite airfare being more expensive this year, some 4.5 million Americans still choosing to fly. Here's what those folks look like waiting in long lines to get through security. Just look at this. I mean, this first video is coming to you from St. Louis International Airport. Travelers there reportedly waiting hours just to get through security. And keep in mind, ticket prices, they're up about 25%. According to Hopper's Travel Outlook, and that is more of the same in cities like Louisville, Kentucky, and Houston, Texas. I mean, Thanksgiving travel nearly reaching pre-pandemic levels. Air travel specifically up from last year, 8%. So that's what it looked like on the ground. Take a look at this. This is what it looked like from the sky. This is compliments of the FAA. Uh, this is a time lapse. Look at all of those flights. This was actually from Tuesday, the 22nd. So you can only imagine what it was like on Wednesday. Speaking of maps, here's a quick look at the dreadful misery map from FlightAware. Last check, the total number of delays hovering around 400. Keep in mind, this is still extremely early on Thanksgiving. We spoke to one of those early risers this morning. My daughter is trying to go to college, and so thereby we come here and we look at Miami and we're like, oh, cool, we're going to travel on Thanksgiving because that's going to be really fun to travel on Thanksgiving. And with the prices this year being a little right. bit more expensive? Precisely. That's why we're here this day instead of tomorrow or yesterday. You got a sense of that sarcasm. We're coming back out here live and looking at the board on time, on time, on time. Oh, but then right there when you get to the bottom, canceled there this flight 7 a.m. heading to Chicago uh, that's some of what we're seeing but as you can tell I mean you look around here plenty of people choosing to fly here on Thanksgiving morning Mitch I'll send it back to you yeah, Xavier I've got a lot of experience going through Miami International I know you do too it really does look like a normal day there it doesn't look like a huge line not a disaster like we've seen in other places are they doing something different or is it's it just the difference between the day before Thanksgiving and Thanksgiving day I think the big difference, Mitch, is the price, right? Some people are like, I'm going to fly the day before or two days before. Some people are saying they found the cheapest flights Thanksgiving morning, and that is exactly why they are here this morning. Like that woman we spoke to earlier, she said the same exact thing. It was the cheapest flight. That's why they're here. The only difference, though, I will say this, Mitch, people are a little bit nicer today. You know, they're a little more cheerier, uh, if you will, because it is Thanksgiving. It's the day you think about being thankful. We're thankful for the report. Uh, we're so thankful, Xavier, you're going to be doing it again later in the show. Thank you. Now, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.